Hey everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter, and you know, it's hard enough to fight for our Second Amendment rights when the government is always trying to infringe on them, but now we actually have nuns trying to shut down Smith & Wesson. They've done it in a very sneaky way, and I want to talk to you guys about it. So this is a really interesting story. It's, it's definitely not something you would expect from a bunch of Catholic nuns. You don't expect Catholic nuns to force their policy and their agenda on a company and possibly an entire country. So this is what's going on, and it's, it's very sneaky. So there's a bunch of different Catholic groups here, and I'll read them to you. So the first one is going to be the Adrian Dominican Sisters, those are the nuns, as well as 14 other Catholic religious communities and Catholic healthcare groups. So what we have here is a bunch of different different Catholic groups and the nuns who have gotten together to purchase enough stock in a company, this time Smith & Wesson, uh, to be able to have a vote in that company. So what happens is, in these large companies, if you are a, a big enough shareholder, okay, if you have enough shares in that particular company, when it comes time for you know shareholder meetings and stuff, you actually get a vote, and you can actually suggest policy as well. So what you can do is you can write up policy, some changes that you would like to see made in the company, and some things you'd like to see moving forward, and then you actually get, as a large shareholder, to submit that to the company, and then that gets voted on within the company. And you could affect policy changes that would make a huge impact because these companies have to be responsible to their shareholders because the shareholders hold so much of the company's value. And so that's why they give them a voice. So again, these, these nuns and these Catholic groups have invested enough in these companies to where now they have a voice in the company itself. Now, what they tried to put forward were policy changes in, from within the Smith & Wesson company that would have essentially bankrupted it. Uh, it made basically like human rights policies within the company. I'm not exactly sure what the actual language was within that policy that they presented, but it was to enact some type of human rights policies within Smith & Wesson that would basically go against uh, the just the, the standard product that they make. The, it would basically have stopped everything. There's, there's no way that they could have conducted business with the policy that they were trying to put forward. Now, that got voted on, and thankfully that was voted down. But had it been voted through, then we probably would have seen the end of the SNW like we have seen it in the past. So what they're doing is these different groups, if they, they've learned, hey, instead of trying to make policy changes that affect the entire country, which is diff difficult and lobbying through the federal government and all that stuff, Let's just buy shares, we get an instant vote. So they buy a bunch of shares, they get an instant vote within a company, and they could try and make core changes from the inside out. And if you go after these large companies that are responsible for uh, a lot of you know the stuff that we can get, well, then essentially you put a stop to everything without even having to change any laws. So that's kind of what's going on here. And it's just really interesting to see that these nuns and Catholic groups are essentially pushing uh, an agenda like that, right? So instead of infringing on our Second Amendment rights on a government level, now we have, you know, private and religious organizations that are going through trying to do it from the inside. Uh, I thought it was a very fascinating story. I'll actually put a link to the story down below so you guys can read the entire story for yourself. But uh, yeah, they're they're using stock options or not stock options. They're using shares and stocks uh, in order to make those changes. So uh, just be aware. I mean, they, if people are sneaky and they'll go through whatever process they can find, whatever loophole they can find to try and uh, shut things down. So I want to let you guys know about that. Again, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.